Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to look at the possibilities of adding filters to our table using the filament package. So let's get started. So the first one is basically like a flag. Let's just say in the filters. So let us first add the fil first kind of filter. It's filt f i l t e r filter make. Okay, we will say this is start something like that. I'll I'll tell you why we I'm doing this. Basically, what I'll do in this is run a specific query, and in that query, what we are going to do is filter out all the students which are in standard one. So we have. A closure let me see which builder I am importing over here builder is that's correct okay and I'm going to return a builder as well and what will happen over here is query where Let's just say, let's look at the database for some time standard. So I have a few rows or rather nine rows, which are standard one and one with standard nine and five respectively, right? So why don't we do column standard ID one. Like so. Okay. And does it indent properly? I'm just stuck on that small thing, but yeah. So we have this. Now let's see what happens if I refresh. So I have this icon over here. You can see that you know, this appeared and it says start. Okay. I'm seeing Amitav Roy and this student with standard nine. And if I click on this, can you see that went away? Which basically means if you look at the query parameters on the URL, it says table filters start is active equals one. Right. So we have one basic kind of filter. Now, let's just say you know, this is a very simple example and we are running a custom query. But what if we want to select from a drop down? How do we do that? Well, we have solved that as well. But before we do that, one quick little thing is if you are not happy with the start or if you want to do a label kind of thing okay no so if you want to do it like so i think this one is controlled here um yeah this the label thing is something which i'm going to show you next let's say we have filter uh, which is of type select so select filter i think that was it yes make um standard let's just make that the drop down and then we have an interesting one called options which takes an array okay and the array will have key and value so one let's just say standard one then I had five and nine, right? So five standard five, and this one is nine. I think I'll have to make it as standard ID because that's the one field on which the code will run. So let's see. Um, on the filter, I have a drop down. It says standard one. Okay, I can see only standard one. I do five, I see one record, and I do nine, and I see one as well. So, as you can see, there is the option to do this checkbox kind of a thing, and also we have the ability to create a drop down as well. Now, in this, this particular thing, if you see standard ID is being printed, and that's not the best thing to do, and here the label can come in handy. So, I'll have label as select the standard something like that right and if i refresh 
can you see this label has changed so that's what we uh, know what I was trying to show you all these are as you can see right I have just written a few lines of code and we are getting so many things out of the box which is nice right and then the last one <coughs> which I would like to show you is let's just say you know, right now I have standard in here this is hard coded but that's not exactly what I wanted to do because tomorrow if I have a bigger list of things how do I manage it so in that particular case we do get the ability to load relations in the filter how do we do that well let's just say we will have okay I need to add the comma and do select filter make and all standard okay this is just an example um oh yeah and then we get relationship what's the first one relation name is the name of the relation which we have in the model which is going to be standard and then the next one is title column name which ideally will be name and with this if i hit refresh i have all standard and can you see <clears throat> everything is here this is loading the relationship for the drop down so if i select one obviously it will show me only one nine five three has no results so this is what I was you know willing to show you you know the, uh, the things are so easy with um, you know ideally this is the only you know relation based filter which I would like to do keep over here maybe you know some filters around active or inactive students and things like that but yeah you know it is so easy to create filters for your application with a few lines of code and I feel that you know this is a really big time saver do let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.